So hello everybody, I'm Huyen, I'm country manager of Flinder International in Vietnam and uh, basically I'm taking care of um, Vietnamese student and international student who study at Flinder in Vietnam and then uh, we also taking care and sending uh, supporting students to uh, go to our lovely campus uh, in Adelaide in South Australia. And um, for, for that one minute, I'm talking about myself a little bit. So I have um, 10 years of experience in um, education and especially study abroad. So I working with uh, EF Education First before which is a world leading education organization. And I have a chance to go to um, uh, 10 different country where we have school. So I uh, have kind of little bit uh, of different view from different country. And, um, and then I move up my career to uh, Flinders University, which I believe because um, about uh, Australia education, uh, and also about the quality of Flinders University. So uh, let's get started. I um, win. So plan for today, we will talk about like why why you should to choose study in Australia and especially for university in Australia, how to apply to uh, uh, Australian University and you should check it out the academic entry requirement English entry requirement and more less but not least is uh, uh, go beyond scholarship which is I believe this own parent and student um, really care about so um, why to st choose study university in Australia so like I said before I have been to um, uh, I have uh, studied in Singapore, I have been to UK, uh, US, Canada, and, um, and other country, and obviously Australia as well. So I, uh, I, I have the comparison between the environment and the, the education system in different country. So um, in, in uh, my opinions, Australia is the uh, um, have the edu education system is is the top over the world, and they offer the diversity range of option to study. Um, they have the high uh, employability rate, environment of living, set, um, study and working as well, and uh, of course um, we always focus on student experience and um, quality and uh, also visionary. So let's go to um, more detail about that. So environment, if you have been to Australia, you will see that the nature in Australia is beautiful. The weather is not too cold and also, um, the environment is, is set. Three of um, five big city in Australia are top five uh, livable city in the world. And uh, so what is make Australia a safe, welcoming and supportive environment? So um, you may have heard about Melbourne, Sydney, but otherwise we still have more other beautiful uh, city like Adelaide, uh, Brisbane, Perth, and Canberra, and uh, with um, the nature light, we luckily, luckily, that's uh, Australia have the nature light together with beach, with their uh, forest, and we always try to keep our green path to uh, create more safe and clean environment. Um, talking about Adelaide, sorry. So Adelaide, you, um, if you have 
no idea where is Adelaide. Adelaide is uh, the city based on South Australia state. And in 2021, we um, got the uh, uh, become top three most uh, livable city in the world. And uh, the reason for, and that is a most livable and affordable city in Australia. And uh, I've been to um, Sydney and Melbourne, and then that is a big city that we have uh, really famous in the world. But uh, when I've been to Adelaide, I feel like that is a really um, cultural city and also uh, it's uh, more more about the European uh, culture with uh, combined with other uh, multicultural because um, we only have 1.3 million people here uh, with 70 kilometers of coastline and especially that's the living cost. Um, the living cost in Adelaide is much more cheaper than Sydney and Melbourne is like 20% cheaper. If you live in Sydney, Melbourne, for example, our student um, rent their apartment, one bedroom apartment in Sydney, maybe it cost three fifty dollar per week but in Adelaide it's only like 200 per week 200 dollar per week so it's, it's it's much more safer safer and uh, also uh, Adelaide is an easy uh, city so as you can see in the picture you can that is a city center and starting around and it's only 20 meter uh, 20 uh, minutes city because it's really convenient and easy to um, to go anyway like airport only 20 minutes for far away from the city center and the beach and also other um, others uh, for 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 play to visit also is is that inside the city center and um we I uh, would like to introduce a little bit about the picture here. So this is a capture of a picture of Flinder campus. So Flinder campus is um, is super huge. If um, you watching the US movie and you, you can image that is uh, also this similar with a Flinder campus. campus. So we have the sea views that 50 minutes from uh, campus. We can go to the sea and we also the hill. Um, on the side, and the campus is uh, is a wide 150 hectare, includes a uh, shopping mall, includes a medical hospital inside, and uh, Flinders also uh, the only South Australian university have the living on campus. So we have the resident, and we have the housing inside the campus so yeah I, when i've been there so student to choose normally young student gonna choose to live in university hall so they will have the full board meal is uh, breakfast lunch and dinner but the older one student want to live by themselves so they they're gonna live in their village it's the apartment style and then they cook by themselves so um it really uh, diversity choices uh, for for students who come over to us uh, uh Australia have only 43 university and in 43 university we have 40 un public university and Flinders is the, the one um, the public university in Australia and uh, we offer over 20,000 courses uh, over um, different in different level in Australia and uh, you in 60 years we educated 2.5 million international students so with with that uh, though number you can you uh, you can find us we have the diversity choice for the option to study for people who you, where they're coming from for you to interact with and also you have the right range of uh, experience with uh, uh, with different uh, level of uh, education. And um, especially in Flinders, 
we offer over 50, 100 courses in uh, those st study area. And we are really strong in uh, medicine. The reason is uh, when I visit Flido, I really supply because uh, I, I, I don't think that we have um, that kind of really, really big campus. And when I see the medical center, which is a public medical center of state, based inside this, um, our campus. And then we can have the chance to meeting out with our medical student who study inside the hospital. So that's why Flinders is top 10 uh, medical um, university in Australia. And we offer a lot of um, range of uh, study in health science, in uh, nursing in humanity and also about nursing midwifery. So if you have, uh, so this is a study of area and uh, really diversity. If you interested in every single um, study area, please contact uh, Kelly or our team. We can customize your study plan because we have the entry requirement. We have the English entry requirement but in somehow you may not uh, meet our entry requirement we still have another option for you to um, apply and also going around to get in your dream uh, courses and uh, so it's really customized and really personalized uh, your study plan so uh, please contact um, us or contact kelly see when half you are with it and uh, the second thing I want to talk about is uh, Australia education quality. So um, Australia own way uh, believes that if you don't have the quality, you cannot have student. So the quality of um, education, Australia have built for 60 years and Flinder ourselves is built for 55 years. Uh, we believe that we bring um, really strong experience, really high quality, high end quality of education for uh, for international student. So in the in the chart here, you can see it's like the number increasing, increasing, and then international student um, to start changing their mind to choose Australia over uh, than US, UK, and Canada. Uh, one of the reason because of um, parent as well. So parent want to send student to um, the countries which is safe and also supportive for their children. So with um, US is maybe um, that is a really um, freedom country and also is it's um, so you you want to have get a a big city and maybe overwhelmed with new students from Vietnam or from um, from other countries. So international students first, when they finish high school, they jump into university in Australia. Is we prepare for them from the beginning, from the application process, and until they get to Australia to um, have the full support service. Uh, from daily life to academic life until they graduate and get a job and also if they want to stay. So uh, that's why Australia own way to um, keep uh, is a world leading in international education. And like I said, that's we only have 43 university over Australia. And uh, for example, Flinder, we have to follow uh, the um, rule and regulation of government, of Australia government, because international education export uh, income for the country is uh, number two. So we have to follow the framework, the um, uh, rule and regulation which the government gives to us. Otherwise, we can cannot recruit any international student. So, in terms of uh, recruiting um, international student, we always to um, take care student, provide the high standard uh, quality of teaching, and also always follow the higher standard 
from government. And of course, we don't want to uh, uh, lose our uh, to lose our license to cannot re uh, recruit any international student. So this is a str really strong control from government. That's why compared to other countries, like for example, US, we US have like 4,000 university and uh, UK, they have like more than 1,000 university and so on with um, Canada. But in, in, in Australia, we only have 43 university to choice and uh, own of our university, own of Australian university have the high standard and meet own requirement from Australia government. And uh, let's talk about ranking. So I, 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 I always have the question when I visit the school, also uh, meet with the parent and student. They, they always ask if Australian university have the high ranking, if um, uh, maybe you can have heard about Harvard, MIT, but we also have, we do have uh, university in the top, uh, university in the world. So uh, this is a number that um, you may can see uh, we with strong quality of education in uh, university. Um, so we, we have nearly 50% is in the top 300 university in the world. And, uh, uh, and uh, or, of course, if you choose some special um, study area and Australia University have uh, top 50 ranking university in the world in um, some study area like for example clinic medical and also society and engineering IT. Uh, about Flinder ranking so um, we like I introduced before, so we have the medical hospital in, uh, inside the campus, so which is our human body research, made health science course, and of course, top 10 medical uh, program in Australia. And, uh, but somehow we have to still keep our quality in uh, and ranking in other uh, study areas as well, for example, if who want to apply for digital um, design. So we're working on with a CDW studio who have the campus on in Adelaide and also in Hollywood, um, US. So you can have a chance to study 50% at Flinder and 50% you can practice, study, and uh, also placement, which in internship in CDW studio. So this is collaboration. We got the rank number one in the world for digital design, uh, which include game, uh, 3D design, em emanation design. And um, for, so um, in uh, the um, nursing area, so we top 30 over the world for nursing uh, program. We also have our own um, facility to teaching nursing where you can practice like being, um, nurse every day. So it's it's built exactly the same as the hospital and then you have to do, um, you have to be like real nurse in, in the campus. So it's um, over 70% of Flinder program is include placement and industry um interaction and um, internship so you don't most likely on uh, australia university you you will not need to find your um, uh, company to apply for internship our school our university will help you out with it and uh, this is some uh, some picture from Flinder campus. So you can image about the Australian university. So normally Australian university teaching a lot of study area. So we have the campus located nearby our industry. 
so students can have every day to go to class and also to um, interact with industry over um, see what they're doing in the real life and also have build your their um, relationship in industry. So um, this is the slogan of um, um, Australian education is like you study and you have to practice why you study. You have to gain experience why you study otherwise. Um, and then you can build your relationship in your career why you study. So that's why um, the employer ability of uh, Australian uh, student is really high. And I will say the data later. So uh, do you know that uh, polymer money is for is 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 from uh, Australia? And just show the wireless internet, which is really helpful at the moment, which is lockdown and also is a uh, 4.0 life lifestyle like Spotify recorder. So that's its own of the item is a uh, innovate in um, Australia and research by uni Australian university. So you can see it's own of university research and innovation is put the student in, um, in the field uh, to make them understand uh, the real life experience and also the, the, the um, bring the big impact with the vision to, to the community, to the life. Uh, student experience. So in, in Australia, we, uh, we have support students with uh, daily life and academic life. So if you apply from, from the beginning, if you're a high school student, you want to apply, we still have the registered agent uh, who's counsel, uh, counseling for your um, application from the beginning to prepare for you and that is own free. So, and then you can apply for your application. You get a visa and you arrive. So we offer for uh, airport uh, pickup, a free airport pickup. And we also helping out for finding the housing and also introduce for the host family if needed. And um, we also uh, support in uh, introduce the part-time job and full-time job in the future. And really important, that is a daily life. You will need the bank information, the law information, the social event, and uh, also uh, the me mental health uh, support from, from, from the university. So every single university in Australia have the student support center and every single international student can go there to ask any question, any um, thing related to their life, not only for academic, but also from, for their life as well. So we always try to give our advice and also connect the student to the uh, expertise to helping out the students. So all um, young students, special young students who's the first time uh, um, coming in and just live along with our uh, parents, they, uh, we will taking care of students as well. So that is a really uh, confident for a parent who sends students to Australia. Um, this is a big question. When 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 student um, meet um, our team and also parent, this is a big concern more for the parent because uh, we only have to plan ahead for uh, for financial plan for student. So um, this is a number the ideas so you can plan ahead. Uh, for tuition course, normally Australian university costs twenty thousand to forty six thousand per Australian dollar per year, and but remember, 
bachelor degree in Australia only take three years instead of four years like uh, some country. So which means if you study university in Australia, you save one year of time and also one year of um, cost as well. Uh, Flinder University tuition fee is from 30,000 to 42,000 per year. And uh, it's a full fee uh, for, uh, for, for all international students. But uh, remember that we offer a scholarship as well and detail of the scholarship I will share later on. And living cost in Adelaide. So living cost in Adelaide is, is slightly, um, is, is, is only slightly higher a little bit from city center of Ho Chi Minh City. So um, it's, it's from 12 to 17 Australian dollar, thousand dollar per year. And uh, it's, it means that you have the single room. You don't need to share your room with any anyone else. And um, so for my experience is when I visit um, Adelaide, I see a lot of students who want to save money. They sell the housing, they choose their, um, their, their they live in outside of the city center, but they work inside the city center. So they earn a lot of money because of the wage, the salary in city center is normally higher than outside city center. But the living cost in outside city center is lower. So they save a lot of money and the travel in and out of the city only 20 minutes by train. So if you live in Flinders University, you may save a lot of money for, for, for staying for uh, accommodation. And international students who study in Adelaide, they will get 50% of for cha public transportation. So it's, it's only cost for 20 or $40 per, per, year, per month for public transportation. And it's super easy because we have only one train and you can go in and out um, to different destinations in one train. Uh, like unlike with other country, Australia allow students to gain experience uh, while they study with part-time work, which means that student can work up to 40 hours per two weeks. And um in and also is protected by Australian employment law. So the parent is not no need to worry at all because student when they work uh, part-time, they, um, they already protected by uh, our um, labor law. And um, we also have the minimum, minimum salary uh, law. So normally if you work in, um, in Adelaide, minimum salary is from 17 to $25 per hour. So if student can work life balance, they can um, normally they can cover cover the cost of living in Adelaide, but let take the money the finance uh, support uh, aside. The more important is just you can uh, you can uh, cooperate with the um, with the employee and also you can um, build building your work experience in, uh, and also you can write in your CV later on that you have the working experience and skill, build up skill while you're working part-time. And really important that you have the connection in the industry you work with as well. And um, in Australia, in especially in Adelaide, we have the multicultural environment. So that's why students, when they work part-time, they already in road to the multicultural environment. So later on, when they travel out or they work in uh, international organizations, they have no fear at all. So that's what we want to bring to students is ready to work right after they graduate. And uh, after graduate, how about that? After um, graduate, so students gonna get the visa to stay. 
so um, maybe other country, like for example, I study in Singapore before, I can work part time at all, and also um, in US for is the US, so you only work for, for a few hours for university or for tuition provider where you study. But in Australia, you can work part time publicly for everyone, and um, and like for example, I study in Singapore, I can't stay in Singapore after my graduation. So I have to be back to Vietnam or I have to go other country. I choose myself to go to the US later on, uh, but we don't have visa. So like, for example, myself, I don't have, I didn't have visa to stay. If I choose Australia at that time, I will get two years to stay after my graduation. So in two years, I can find my full-time job. I can learn more about the culture. I can travel and I also can um, gain more experience, build more relationship for my future career. And uh, that's really advantage for, for students who choose to study in Australia. And one more good news, if you study and in Adelaide, in South Australia, in Adelaide, if you study two years, full two years, you can get three years stay in test of two years from other state. So student can get um, three years to stay and uh, study for three year course of bachelor degree. And also we got five more points if, if someone wants to um, apply for the PR, want to stay longer in uh, Australia, you study in uh, Adelaide, you will get five more extra points to apply for the PR later on, permanent resident uh, later on. So it's really uh, strong um, support from government, from South Australia, from Adelaide government, and also from our university to support to gain for your own uh, um, maximize a chance to get a point for apply for resident later on. And uh, because we always focus for practice and give student experience and uh, the chance to connect with industry. So the percentage of, um, uh, of uh, employer ability in uh, for graduate from Australia is super high. So 80% of undergrad employee uh, within only within four months in um, after graduation, which is uh, really competitive with uh, other country. And um, starting salary is, is average is 40, 61, um, thousand Australian dollars. So it's, it's it really um, uh, high, high opportunity for students who want to st uh, work in Australia after graduation. And how to apply to university in Australia is super easy. It's just need, you just need to prepare you have to select your court, you have to find your personality, your wish, your future plan, and also talk with your university guidance counselor who gonna give you the best advice and understand uh, which university and which study area is suitable with you and check the entry requirements. So we only require for bachelor degree from year 12 student from grade 12, we just need your GPA uh, for year 12 student. And also if you study IB, we need your predict IB result and also AP result if you study in AP program. So, and uh, check your English, uh, English level if you meet the, with the entry requirement of the course and submit application. So if it's super easy and simple process when you apply for Australian university, um, compare with other university in, um, in, in other country, it's, it's, it's much more simple because um, Australian university, they have their experience in uh, over years and they realize that uh, we just simplize the process 
So um, normally, Australian university have two intake. Uh, like later, we have two um, intake. That is semester one in uh, March and semester two in July. So you have to careful and apply before three months in advance. So you can have a time to uh, submit your application and also doing um, the full process and uh, arrive to our campus. And remember, we also have the, some quota, um, uh, quota course like medicine, uh, like health science. So this is a super high end courses and um, also competitive entry requirement as well. So if you want to have inquiries in the um, study area, you have to find the information way earlier and also apply earlier so you can have a chance to secure your place. Because for example, medicine, um, medical course in, in Flinders, like doctor of medicine, we have only 10 slot for international students. So if you not apply earlier, you may meet the chance and you have to go way around to get to the course. And it's, it's getting like one more year extra. And you will submit uh, your application, receive our offer. Uh, if in the offer states that you have to meet the, in, um, the English entry requirement, you have to prove that you have uh, IELTS test, TOEFL test, or PTE test. Otherwise, and also for entry requirement about academic, so you have to fully complete high school and you approve that you have the IB diploma or AP diploma. So that's why you meet the owner condition in offer letter, except make payment and apply for visa if needed and arrive. We always welcome you at the airport. And the checklist. So my suggestion for student is you should choose two courses, preference courses. So um, if you not meet the first course, you can have the second course is uh, in the same study area and also we can transfer you later on to your uh, first priority course later on. So um, for SETI, you should do two courses in your study area. And uh, the document is only two documents needed at the moment is the academic transcript and you need to add your counselor or uni, uh, high school to write us predict IB result, uh, evident of English entry requirement, and of course a, a copy a copy of passport. So we we just need only two uh, documents. So you can uh, submit your application. Academic entry requirements. This is an example for academic entry requirements for students to prepare. So you should um, think like when you study grade 10, grade 11, you should thinking about what course you apply and what is their study plan for you in the future in university. So um, if you research earlier, the better. So you can get the entry requirement. For example, you need to be like IB at least 24 or AP program. And uh, also it's like for our competitive course and high-end course is, is need IB at least 37. And uh, this is our 42, not 45. And English entry requirement is we require student, but uh, if you study IB program, IB diploma, so normally you will miss all of our English entry requirement. If you not study IB program, you study AP program, for example, so you have to um, take the IELTS test or TOEFL. If you not meet the IELTS, normally we require 6.0 up to 7 depend on the courses. Uh, if you not the meet English entry requirement, we also pack it, uh, we can, uh, we can pack it you to our English provider 
to um, transfer to for from English course to our main course later on. So this is really on uh, uh, really similar practice from all over university in Australia. So if you apply for one or other, you still go through this um, process. And uh, uh, the last thing I wanna talk about is go beyond scholarship. So before we, we did not offer any scholarship for international students until 2020. And this year we, so proud that we offer 50% of uh, tuition fee for, do, for full duration of study, 25% and 20%. So it does depend on your GPA, depend on your IB um, score result, AP result. So remember, if you want to apply to scholarship, you have to make sure the higher score, the better. The higher score is a much more chance to you for you to get more scholarship. So that is the only thing that we care. We, we assess from the scholarship. Uh, this is an example for, for, for scholarship requirements. So at least you for 50% scholarship, you need to be at least have 37 uh score in your ib result or uh, uh 26 up to 33 for 25 percent and this is a out from 20 to 25 percent scholarship is automatic uh asset for your application you don't need to do anything so if you meet the uh, academic result you will get the scholarship but for 50 percent scholarship you will need to apply with our form to saying to expect yourself to saying like why why we need to give you 50 this is a super high scholarship for from australian university and from especially from flinder we never had this scholarship before so if you want to apply you have to show how and why why should we give you 50 percent up for your tuition fee for full duration. And if you get a scholarship and then how is your academic life and how you uh, win, um, bring the impact of your life to the social, the community, because we at Flinder, we want to contribute for global, for the world and for the community. So it's, it's this, we just need the three answer and also if you the Flinder ambassador and then how you uh, how you can bring uh, the message to the world. So this is our own information for the scholarship. And if you have one more question, please contact me. And how to apply. So there are three ways to apply. So in Vietnam, we have um, the agency, which is the authorized agent in Vietnam. So you can find the list in our website, or you actually you can apply directly to our website as well. But my suggestion is if you go to agencies, they will do everything for you in terms of uh, paperwork, in terms of guiding process, and also make sure you go right to direction uh, without fee, it's own free. And also Concord platform, if you have your school and have the Concord platform as well. So I, I think I, I talked too much now and I would like to have some question to answer. Uh, is the application process different for people who have Australian passport? Yes. If you have Australian passport, which means that you counting as domestic student, and of course the tuition fee is like one third cheaper. So you just need to go to our website and to, if you see my screen now, so we have the cleaner.edu.au in slash international and apply. So user to slash domestic apply. So it's super easy. You just need to submit your 
passport, submit your um, personal information, and also submit your academic transcript so you will get the offer or suggestion for your study as a domestic student. So, uh, Nina, do you have any question or anyone who want to have questions? So I still have uh, 10 more minutes, 12 more minutes to answer the question. So Kelly, do you have any question? Oh, Q and I here. Uh, what TOEFL score is needed? Are you study in IB course? So if you study in IB course, uh, IB diploma, you will need to take a TOEFL, um, TOEFL test at all. So. Uh, So I believe this uh, AP and I, IB student from South Saigon South um, Saigon South International School is no need to um, take their TOEFL score. So if anybody have any different questions, so please. Um, send it through to Kelly and also maybe you can have my contact in here and I always available to answer your own question and also helping out with your study plan in the future and of course parent if uh, if um, the parent want to discuss more about the Australia life how to support and how to prepare for your child to study in Australia. I'm willing to discuss as well. Um, also, uh, because we send quite a lot of number of young students to Australia to our university. So I, I may can say some real experience and also maybe connect you to the previous parent who um, the alumni or uh, currently parent who have the student in Australia to have a real experience as well. So thank you so much to spending time to listen uh, for the section. And if you have any question that uh, send to me and uh, see you. And thank you so much Kelly and SSIS to organize a study in Australia section today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you.